So, two years ago, May of 2022, I started this journey of playing through all the PS1 demos. And yeah, two years have gone by, <laughs> I finally got through all 108 of the UK ones. But there's a bunch of miscellaneous ones from various places, like the IDOS, EDOS, uh, however that's pronounced, they, they released a bunch of demos. Um, the PlayStation Magazine also released a bunch of uh, extra ones, um, like this, which is the official PlayStation Magazine Best Games Ever 2000 demo. Um, and it, it doesn't have a huge amount, um, as you can see, uh, and it's also missing some of the other best games ever. Um, but but anyway, uh, we're, we're going to look at those. There's also a Namco demo, there's, um, there's a Winter Releases demo, um, there's Demo 1, which is, I think... It was released alongside PS1s. Um, and then there's also... I've downloaded six of the American versions of the PlayStation demos to see how they compare. Now, that might... I have no idea. It might be a very short thing. With, with a, a majority of these, we're just going to take a very brief look. With them, we've almost certainly looked at or played all of these demos in the past. Um, or with the exception of one or two. So we're just gonna be looking to see how it differs. Um, so yeah, like Driver Two, we we have uh, we have played this. Uh, we we've experienced it. We we kn we know the glory of the driver. Um, we have we've seen it before. Same with Spider Man. Same with uh, Spider Free. I'm assuming it's it's the same demo as usual. Sure is. Skate Park Mountain Club. Sure, sure. It's it's all the same. Um, but it's just interesting to see what's on it. So uh, obviously we got WWF two. Uh, Smackdown, that's a, that's a coming soon little thing. Actually, was it coming soon? When did that actually come out? I, at, at this point, it might not have been coming soon. Um, Tenchi 2, uh, Alien Resurrection. I don't remember Alien Resurrection. Um, was this? No, no, the, this wasn't the first Alien game we played. The first, that was the Alien trilogy. Jeez, it did, it did come out of nowhere, didn't it? But uh, yeah, I thought we'd just have a look at these, see how what, what they're like. We're not going to go like super in depth in them because there's no need. As I say, we've played a majority of these games. We've seen a majority of these demos. There is no need to like play them all again uh, intricately. Um, that is kind of gross. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's uh, it's going to be interesting to see how things differ. Like I'm really really excited to see certain things like um, you know like uh, the the US ones. How that how that fares. So. That was uh, PlayStation Magazine Best Games Ever 2000. Uh, here's PlayStation Magazine Platinum Special Demo. Um, what? Why? Oh, oh, this is. Oh, this looks very different, doesn't it? Okay. So this is Crash Bandicoot 2 Platinum. So before the level that they gave us was Bear It. It seems to still be Bear It. Okay, that's interesting. So it's uh, it is the same demo. It's not like they they gave you a new level for it. They just They've just repurposed it and said it's Platinum. So, presumably, um, these are all games that went Platinum. And I believe Platinum is defined by selling over a million copies, I think? It's either a million or a hundred thousand. I'm pretty sure it's a million. But uh, anyway, yeah, we, we have played this demo. Uh, though I want to quickly go back on because I just want to see the artwork at the beginning. Yeah, okay, it wasn't that special. Um, okay, so what else is in here? Wipeout 2097, cool, makes sense. Uh, Tomb Raider 2, um, again, I'm going to assume it's the first level. It sure is. Um, it absolutely is the first level, which, which is what we expect. Um, look, whoa, you're going that way. Um, uh, Tomb Raider 1, which is cool, so again, I presume same demo. Uh, it sure is, yep, it's at the end of, uh, that level. Um, and, uh, Tekken 2, which is pretty cool. Uh, Ridge Racer Revolution, actually, did we play this game? We played Type R. I'm unsure if we played this. The can platinum, it was acquired, but it must sell 400,000 copies. World driving it. Okay, fair enough. 400,000. Okay, I wasn't sure. I knew it was it was a it was a large number. Also, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well. Um, yeah, I knew it was a large number. Oh right, are they? Yeah, they had the little like uh, waiting thing. Yeah, I don't actually know if this was a demo. If it was, it was very very long ago. Um, it because yeah, we had we had Rage Race and we had Type R, but I don't know if we did have Revolution. Um. I, so this is, this is, I've played this game briefly, um, one of my cousins was, like, w when they were growing up, they're younger than I am, uh, and they were getting into older games, um, just growing up, so, uh, I thought, oh, it would be really cool if I could, like, they, 
they found a PS1 and was like, oh, I could get them a couple of games that I could find around where I lived. Um, and one of the games I found was this. Um, and uh, I basically, I tested each of the games to make sure they worked. Because obviously, like, I don't want to give them a game and be like, oh, sorry, it doesn't work. Whoops. Um, so, uh, yeah, this was one of the games. And I, I, I've only played it through that, like, one race test that I did of the game for them. So, uh, yeah, like, I... I, uh, yeah, I don't really know what this game is like outside of briefly playing it. Um, but, uh, I mean, it, it's, it seems very much like, uh, Rage Racer. Um, uh, you know, and Rage Racer's great. Um, and, uh, oh, you're, you're not making this easy for me, are you? Oh, oh, why did you do that? I just let go of the accelerator. Why did I say that so weird? The accelerator. Never <laughs> know. Like I, I just let go of the gas, and it, you just just oh really? You're not even gonna give me more than one lap. All right, cool. Um, uh, Porsche challenge. We played that. Yeah. Uh, Oswald's Abe's honestly makes sense. Uh, Gran Turismo. Is it gonna actually let us play? That never, never once they let us play. They just let us see a replay. Oh yeah, though. No, after the replay, there is a there is a play mode. Is it the same? That's, is it, is it the same as always? Yeah, it's the same as always. Okay. Um, G Police. Which one was G Police? Oh, this one. Okay. Yeah, it was alright, I suppose. Um, uh, F197. That makes sense. 97 was a really good game. Now, what I'm curious about is, is it going to be broken? Because all the other F1 games have been broken. I don't think we ever played a demo of this. No, maybe we did, actually. No, but it was the arcade mode, wasn't it? All right. It's so weird that this demo is fine. Oh my god. Well, I say that they all, they they all they're making life very difficult for you. Get out of my way! Oh my god. What a terrible beginning. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is a great game. Um, actually, no, this isn't the arcade mode. I could have sworn it gave us a demo of the arcade mode. Um, but uh, obviously, this is not it. Um, but, uh, yeah. But anyway, not, F197 is good. Um, it's a fun time. We all appreciate it. Doom! Um, Crash Bandicoot 2. Yeah, so, uh, the Platinum demo is actually pretty cool. It had a, it had a bunch of fun stuff in it. Um, I appreciate it. Um, so that was that. Um, there's just a, a, a thing just, that's just called Demo Disc. I don't know what that means. <laughs> like, I mean, it's, I know it means Demo Disc, but by whom? Oh! Oh, we saw another demo like this. Oh man, this music's nostalgic. All right, come on, what demos we got? So, okay, so Bugs Bunny. I might have actually had this demo disc, specifically this one, because I do remember having Bugs Bunny and Wipeout. Um, but yes, yeah, so this is uh, Waskly Wabbit Lost in Time, so this is obviously Bugs Bunny Lost in Time. Um, well, yeah, it's this level. Uh, we've played that before. Um, we've got Wipeout. Oh, no, this is Crash Team Racing. Maybe we... Did we play this earlier? Maybe we did, I don't know. Uh, Crash Team Racing is cool. Um, I'm assuming it's Pappy's Pyramid as per usual. Is it? Is it? Yep. Of course it is. Um, then after that, there is Croc 2! Return of the Croc! Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm assuming it's the first level, um, because it was last time. It would be very ballsy to give you something that's not this level, because this game is not easy. Oh yeah, the music runs really weirdly. Like, the music is running faster. For some reason, like, I don't really know why that is, but uh, yeah, that's a weird thing. What is this? Oh, a Strager. I don't recognize this. A Jewel of Sorcery and Fists. Yeah, I do not recognize this at all. That might be a D. It might be a D. It might be D Strager instead of O Strager. I don't... It's it's hard to tell in that font, to be fair. Um, but yeah, I don't... It is a D. Yeah, I don't remember this. This isn't familiar to me. But it has crashed. There we go. It worked this time. Did it? Yes, it worked this time. Cool. Um... Oh, okay, so Melina, oh, Grad, this is pretty good, oh, I'll play you, versus Grad, and we're going to Hills, oh, actually, 
Maybe I do remember the map. Yeah, isn't this game awesome? Yes, no, we have played this. This game was rad. Yeah, no, okay. This game was pretty good. I did enjoy it. It, like, they're so overpowered. Like, why would you not just mash this all the time? It's so overpowered. Damn. Okay, is this in my list of games? Because I have, like, a list of, like, stuff that I wanted to play again. Did I put this in? Because if I did not... No, I did. Yeah, I did. I was going to say, I just couldn't remember the name. I was going to say, if I didn't, like, it needs to be put in because it's awesome. It's an awesome fighting game. Uh, Devil Dice is a cool puzzle game. Yeah, Brain Fizzing Puzzle Madness. Um, Grand Theft Auto 2. Yeah, on Dragon Simulator. We played that many a time. Uh, Hotline plus Powerline. Oh, this might be interesting. Go on, what's this? This is different. So Hotline Studio. So is this going to be like telling us about people we can actually call? These numbers will not still be working, just to be clear. But this is interesting. I've never seen a video for like, whoa. Oh, wow, it's for different parts of the world as well. So you can get different hotlines to different locations. Oh, that's fun. Um, well, specifically Europe. Um, Europe and New Zealand and Australia. All right, so uh, United Kingdom, what? So how does this work? Okay, there's way too much effort put into this. Huh. The effect of, like, the text moving with the line is actually pretty cool. Like... Yeah, so, that's actually kind of interesting. That's actually very interesting. And if I was to go back to another, like, place, so, like, here, for example. Huh. That's actually super cool, and it tells you the number of it. Huh, alright, that's actually pretty neat. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen that before. Ridge Racer Type R, a 4, that's what we were talking about before. Uh, we have not played that. Spyro 2, excellent, I presume. Same demo as usual, it's, uh, is it the two levels? It sure is the two levels! Um, so this is football, the beautiful game. The beautiful game. There's only one, and it is the beautiful one. Uh, given that it didn't give me, uh, it didn't give me controls, I'm guessing this is just a trailer. It sure is just a trailer, this is football, baby! I think we've seen this trailer, to be fair. Um, so turn on skateboarding, yeah, we've certainly played that many a time. Uh, and Wipeout 3, Adrenaline Speed Rush faster than ever. Um, I love that, you know, a bunch of the text is not in the box. <laughs> just like, we've designed this cool looking layout, but we can't act, we didn't really think about text size, did we? No, not at all. Could, we could have made the boxes a little bigger, but we've already made the art, so... No, we're not doing that. Um... But yeah, we have uh, we have played. I'm pretty sure I had this demo, um, so that's pretty cool. Because um, like I remember being able to play parts of these um, these demos, but like I also don't remember them too much. But uh, I mean, it would have been a long time. I haven't like I didn't keep all of them, but yeah, we we have definitely played this one. So yeah, cool. That was pretty neat. Um, so that was just demo. Uh, it was yeah, it was just called demo disc. Very very uh, highbrow. Um, so now there's a official UK PlayStation Best Games Ever UK. Um, doesn't state a year, but it's uh, it's got Dave Mira Pro BMX, which is alright, I think. Uh, Moto Racer World Tour. Okay, all of these are. Every single one of these are sports based. That's interesting. Nowhere in the title of this did it specify it was sports based. That is interesting. Okay. Well, we have seen all of these before. Um, as I say, with a bunch of these, we're just going to be looking at what they are. Um, after that, there was... Um, uh, there, there's some more. There's best racing game ever. Just best racing game. Not games. Game ever. Let's see if there's more than one. There is. For a second, I was like, hang on. <laughs> there's just one. V <laughs> um, Rally 2, right? Uh, Circuit Breakers. Which one was Circuit Breakers? Was that the... Was that the one with the... Oh, no, this is not what I thought it was. Oh, I don't remember this at all. Press select for one player game. I, I, I do vaguely remember it. Yeah, 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 because... 
Yeah, 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 because it had like a time travel. Yeah, yeah, okay, I do remember this. It was hard from what I recall. It did, it, it gets hard, like the tracks are quite complicated. And the camera angle is not the best suited for it. Um, yeah, you've got to hope that you are going in a straight line through that tunnel, given you can't see through it. <laughs> Imagine if during one of them it's like, no, no, go left at one point. It's like, okay, cool, that ain't happening. Um, but yeah, this is alright. We haven't played this in like over a year, so I figured I may as well have a brief look at it. Um, but it's kind of okay. It's really hard to catch up. Like, I'm not doing anything wrong, and yet I'm not catching up at all. Oh dear. Well, now I'm dead. Cool. Um, so yeah, Circuit Breakers is there. Conor McCree Rally makes sense. Crash Team Racing makes sense. Toka 2 makes sense. Gran Turismo 2, yeah. Speed Freaks. Speed Freaks was cool! Speed Freaks, that was the- yeah, it was these ones. Speed Freaks was really cool. And it cuts you off at lap 4 or 5, so you can't finish the damn race. Uh, Ridge Racer makes sense. Wipeout 3, yeah. Driver, yeah, makes sense. Yeah, so, I mean, you know, it's what you'd expect. It's- it's solid selection of games. It's a pretty good demo. Uh, then there's also, um... There's the best PS1 games ever, um, in the European version. Um, oh, oh, what is this menu? There's a weird octopus, and like, it's the most bland menu screen I've ever seen. What is YVJ? What? The hell is this? I have no idea. This is crazy. Loading the best games ever. Yeah, but what did it mean? It said YVJ. I don't know what that means. Whoa. Oh, it's the real time music animation engine. Right, so you can put like a CD and it'll do like animations to it, right? Yeah, yeah, like, like, but yeah, this is, this is cool. Oh, man. Yeah, you can change the patterns. Um, you can reset the color. Change to random mode. Okay. This is... This is kind of cool. I kind of... I kind of don't hate it. You can... Yeah, you can change the response. It's pretty neat. I... I used to play with this kind of thing. There was also, like... Because there's this bit... I think the PS1 did it automatically. I think, like, uh, if you put in a music uh, CD instead of a game CD, it would just go to, like, a menu like this in the PS1 itself, outside of this, so it's kind of unnecessary. Um, but yeah, Matt Hoffman, probably next video. Great Night 2 video. Driver 2 video. There's a lot of videos. Alien Resurrection video. We saw that before. Wipeout 3. Now I'm supposed to get 2. Do you the last revelation? Interesting. That's one of the ones that people regard as not good. So they've got that one, but not the other Tomb Raiders? Yep, yeah, that's the Tomb Raider they went for. I'm gonna assume that was releasing soon, and <laughs> they hadn't come out yet. And they were like, oh, let's put that in there. It's best PS1 games ever. <laughs> but, 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 don't hold your horses because there's best ever, ever games demo. Ever, ever. There's two evers. It's not the best ever game. Ever, ever. Don't forget, so, this is, this is big, this is the ever, ever set. It's Gran Turismo 2, it's Crash Bandicoot 3, and it's the video. It always hit the one where it's like, bam, 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 bam. Yeah, it is! Love this song. Banger. Um, Final Fantasy 8 video makes sense. Uh, Wipeout 3 video, uh-huh. Driver, of course, of course. Fever 2000, yeah, that game was actually alright, I enjoyed that. Um, Metal Gear Solid, of course. Uh, Tomb Raider, the, <laughs> it, yeah, again, it's coming out soon, isn't it? Um, Grand Turismo 2, yeah, we're back, we're back to the beginning. So yeah, it's interesting that like these, some of these do not have the best ever games, uh, or at least not as many as you'd hope um, for for a collection like that. Um, so have I done all of these? Done that, done that. Uh, we did this special demo. Okay, so there's a couple there that I haven't looked at, but I'll look at after. Um, so there was the Essential PlayStation. Uh, there are twelve of them. Um, this is a European demo disc selection, and I'm not going to look at all of them, but I'm just going to look at a couple and see what's there. Um, yeah! 
Yeah, this menu. So we've got Adidas Power Soccer. So we're going to have a look. Yeah, these are kind of like the old style graphics for uh, for the, the demo discs. We've seen we've seen like this kind of thing. I'm sure we've we've seen this game before. Oh, it looks kind of hideous though. Okay, are we not wait, are we not playing it? Yes, we are. Um it looks uh mostly hideous, but you know, it it, it is it is a soccer game. We we can't we can't have this stream without there being a football game. Like we have to play football. Like we've played football in like every every 10 blocks. So Oh my god, oh, oh well, you're about to score. God damn it! <laughs> Great. So, uh, yeah, there's that. That's pro oh, is the pinball gonna glitch out? Is it still gonna glitch? I need to know. It's a very important fact. It's a very important thing we need to look at. Yeah, it still glitches! Yeah! Excellent. You're damn right it still glitches. They have not fixed it. I am delighted that they have not fixed it. I don't know why it does this on emulation. But it's good to see that it ends as it started with a broken pinball game. It's not broken per se. It's just the ball duplicates on the screen a lot. And it's very confusing at times. But hey. Yeah, oh, <laughs> it does look bad. And I'm out. No, no, it got, I got saved. Music's actually not bad, though. It's pretty good. I mean, the thing is, if you love pinball, and of course you would, why wouldn't you? It's great to have it there. Um, Lemmings 3D, Ridge Racer Revolution, I think, Destruction Derby, Wipeout, Thunderhawk 2. I don't remember Thunderhawk 2. I now remember Thunderhawk 2. Uh, Discworld, Assault Rigs, don't fully remember that. Oh, yeah, wow, yeah, this was a, this is a very early demo. Yeah, I do remember playing this. So, yeah, the, like, these demos are pretty much just... Duplicates of previous ones. I'll go to number seven now and see what that one's like. Whoa, what? Oh, this is hideous. Look at this hideous box. Uh, hello, Ratchet. I hope you're doing well. Um, oh, it is not nice. Uh, I don't remember Robotron X. I still don't remember Robotron X. Oh, God, hello. The hell is this? Have I played this? Oh, it's just this. Okay. I have played it. It's, uh... Like, I, I barely played it. I mean, it, as these types of games go, it's actually alright. I mean, it looks hideous, but it's alright. And uh, Jesus got beaten to a pulp. Um, I don't remember Lomu Rugby either. Um, oh. Yes, we did play this. It was quite near the end. Um, Spider. Spider was really cool. Felony 1179, no recollection of that. Go on. It's a racing game? I would have never have guessed racing game. Not in my wildest dreams. <laughs> Steal the golden wings from the limousine. Okay, that makes more sense. Still don't really remember this, but go on. Good, good bottle breaking sound. Yeah, yeah, I do sort of remember this. Again, we played it so, so, so long ago. Um, Ready. yeah, let's see how it controls. Go! Go! Uh, hello, Luminant. How's that going? Going good. We are going to finish them all today. It is going to happen. It's gonna be magical, I'm sure. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh... I remember this being bad for some reason, but I don't remember why. Like, something occurs and I'm like, oh yeah, that was not great. But I don't really remember what it is. The music's alright. It's it's a fine demo, I suppose. It's alright, I don't really care. Um, nope, didn't mean to go back in. Um, Nightmare Creatures... Which one's that? Oh, yes, yes, of course. Um... So yeah, like these are interesting. Let's uh, let's take a look at the last one. Um, have they improved the uh, the box style of the uh, demos? No, it still looks pretty disgusting. Um, they look like pills now. Uh, pool shark. They got bugs life though. Bugs life's fun. Uh, what's what's on the Net Rose compilation? Go on. Total soccer, Blit boy, mahjong, haunted maze. Yeah, so they're definitely all stuff we played before. Um, so yeah, these are all pretty, pretty basic. We, we expected that. 
Um, so essential PlayStation, pretty pretty boring. The IDOS demos are interesting. EDOS, IDOS. Um, so they are by EDOS Entertainment, uh, and they're basically just demos of games that they've either developed or published, I guess. So we're starting with Tomb Raider 3. Um, and interestingly, it had the first level in the screenshot. I wonder if it actually is the first level. It is not. Um, it is not at all. Um, but yeah, it is interesting that they have a screenshot of the first level, but they actually have a later level. Oh, okay, it's multiple screenshots. Um, fighting Force. I don't remember Fighting Force. What's Fighting Force? I have no idea. What the hell are you? Okay. I don't... Th I hate your neck. You're, you're like part giraffe. I don't, I don't like it. I hate most of their faces. Like, I don't know who I want to... I'm going to play as the giraffe. Yeah, this is interesting. The Eidos demos actually will have some, I guess, different things on the basis that they are, like, publish. They're trying to sell published stuff. Okay, well, the giraffe attacks fast. But... Sorry, wh why does it... What's Misery? Is that their name? Or is that mine? Yeah. Smiler. Why are they called Misery and Smiler? What the hell? This is weird. Jesus, okay. Nice. That's right. Okay, so this this game is bizarre. I can run. I, I will destroy this gate. Mark my words. Okay, that's kind of cool, I guess. Oh, you, oh, oh, you've got guns, have you? Well, that's just cheating, isn't it? Yeah, it sure is. And yeah, it does very little to me. Yeah, that's right. Banger, you're out. Bruiser. <laughs> it's, the names are, are very silly. I don't know why it amuses me so. Basher. I'm pretty sure that's a reindeer. Punk. That's also, that's another reindeer. Can I get the gun? Uh, I can. I've only got free ammo. Dude is dead. Dude. <laughs> just, just I was like, yeah. He's just called Dude now. Jez. Okay. This is. Whoa, that's cool. This is a weird game. Slasher, and again another reindeer. I'm pretty sure. I got some good moves. I want the money. Snakey. Or Snake 4. I, I'm not sure. The font, the font is misleading. Misery or miser, Miser 4. This game is weird. You just dropped a gold bar. As you should, apparently. It's a weird game. Yeah, this, like, that drains my health, it seems, which is not great. Uh, oh, no. I want to... Oh. Well, okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah, so doing that move, like, can kill me, because it just it drains my health to do it, which is a shame. Punk is dead. No! I must destroy you with mighty pole! Okay, I got some health back by blowing up a box. Oh, no! Oh, my God. I want to see what happens when I die. <laughs> it was a 40 wink style sound effect. Good. Alright, well, that was an interesting game. Uh, Akuji. Don't remember that either. As trailers rated suitable for mature users. Okay, your mind masters devious puzzles. Your razor sharp claws destroy the weak. Your voodoo spells incinerate your enemies. Right. Music's alright. Couldn't tell you what the gameplay's like yet. Oh, fun. Let me use my mighty blades to destroy these. Oh, hello. Okay, it looks like you can do some cool stuff in this game. I did play Pipe Mania, yes. It wasn't my kind of thing, but yeah, I did play it. Huh. Well, it's certainly interesting. It looks alright. <laughs> what are they? <laughs> I love them. They're like crazy chocobo. It's awesome. Yeah, I music's mean, pretty good. I like it. Um, but yeah, this, this game looks interesting for sure. 
Um, but then there's a leg Legacy of Cain 2. Um, which is basically like the first one, but more of it. Our covenant. Cain's death for my rebirth. Okay. Whoa, look at that. Sweet. Yo! <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh, Ninja, we've uh, played that, and the Unholy War was uh, like a Toys of Bob style game, which was cool. Um, so yeah, fun stuff. But there are uh, there's a couple of these. Um, I don't have the second one, but I've got one through seven apart from two. Uh, so this is, in fact, the exact same. Interesting. So one and three are identical. That's interesting. Uh, this is Warzone. It has Gex free. Interesting. Legacy of Cain. Can you see? They, they're going to have like a lot of similar stuff in them. Um, so that's number four. Um, number five. Um, oh, this has a different menu. Uh, Fighting Force 2. Fear Factor. Oh, I don't remember Fear Factor. Um, oh, whoops. That's It's a demo. It's a trailer, sorry. Um, yeah, which one was Fear Factor? I'm sure I've seen this game before, but I don't really remember much about it. Which is a, a damning statement, I guess. <laughs> yeah, there you go. This is, uh, this is, this is it. This is a game. Um, uh, obviously, there's Gex 3 again. Um, Gex is on a camel. Uh, Soul Reaver, Warzone 200, that, and a QG again. Um, so, yeah, they're, they're pretty good. Um, the full release is called Fear Effect. Interesting. Okay. Um, number six. Um, we've got Gex 3 again. Could you fear, fear? Oh, now it's called Fear Effect. Huh! Between demos, it changed its name. That's actually fascinating. I may as well check to see if. Uh, oh my god, I didn't notice the huge face behind Gex. Uh, I may as well check to see if Gex 3's demo is the same level. Uh, oh, wait, no, this is different. This is totally different. Defeat the Evil Center. Oh, this is actually a different level. Ooh, let's do it. Fun. I played a small amount of Gex 3 and Gex 2. I never played Gex 1 because Gex 1 never showed up in any demo. And yeah, I've never, I've never played the Gex games. It is something I want to play in the future. They are horrifying. Oh my God, what are you? I mean, I know what you are. Oh my god, look at that Santa over there. Um, hello. Can I speak to you? Okay. I guess I'll destroy the presents! <laughs> oh! Oh, the jump pads. Okay, sweet. Oh, okay. But the roofs uh, are slidey as anything, which, you know what? And now they don't act as jump pads, okay. <laughs> this is surprisingly difficult. Ah, there we go. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, this is very interesting for sure. Um, why would I, why would I destroy penguins? I don't want to destroy penguins. But it is my destiny to destroy penguins. There's a lot of interactivity in this game. <laughs> like, everything seems to interact. Which is pretty cool. So this music's pretty good. Yeah, so, the thing about the Gex trilogy being remastered is it'll be interest from what i understand the gex games are very self-referential to popular culture of the era but specifically in country so the us and the uk version are totally different games in respect for all their commentary and all their jokes are entirely based around the uk or us so the limited run games version is going to have a very difficult job on its hands because it's going to have to do one of them as opposed to both. And it will be interesting to see which it does. And I think what I'll probably end up doing is I'll probably end up playing uh, whichever version it is. And I suspect it will be the American version. And then I'll play the UK version afterwards because I want to see the references. Because the thing, the, the thing that's going to be a, a mild problem with the American version is I'm not going to get a lot of the references because it's popular culture of the 90s that I... I was not a part of. Um, because it's specifically of things that I don't know about, right? Um, can you not, like, Bart Stump or something? Apparently not. Um, 
So yeah, like it's gonna be very interesting to see what happens there. Um, excellent. This actually was this game made with the same engine as the Grinch game. This is from Mr. Sinatra. I think it might have been, you know, because that one that came out of that thing is identical. I guess it's also actually similar to uh, something in Bugs and Taz, so it could have been one of those two. It might also just be its own, but the, it's just that the font and the way it came out looked the same. Um, I wasn't sure. Maybe it could be that, or it could be Bugs and Taz. But yeah, I wonder if it's made with a similar engine to one of those. But yeah, it's just going to be interesting to see what uh, what they do with uh, this. But uh, yeah, I, I, I quite like the game. It's uh, it's fun, for sure. Beware of elves. I mean, I'm not really like here to play uh, all of this demo. I'm just going to take a brief look. But, oh, look, there's the even centre. Hello. Can I hit it back? No, I cannot. Okay. Can I jump to you or will I die? I will die. Okay, noted. Well, I think we've had enough of that. Um, that was cool. Um, is it the same demo? It probably is. It probably is. Uh, yes, it is. It sure is. I'm assuming the same with uh, Tomb Raider 3. It's, uh, it sure is, yeah. Um, Gex 3 has a Playboy actress in it. Oh, interesting. That's fun. <laughs> Why not? It's cool. I'm more excited for Tumbi, to be honest, because uh, the Tumbi remake is going to have remastered music. Oh! Very excited about that. Um, I mean, it's not a remake, remake per se, but anyway, there's that, there's Urban Chaos. I don't remember Urban Chaos. Yeah, I do not remember this at all. That's kind of cool. That's fun enough. Um, there's, uh, Fighting Force 2, Tomb Raider 3, Reverse Revelation, yeah. So yeah, that's, uh, that's the EDOS demos. They're, uh, they're pretty simple little things, but they're, they're fun enough. Um, so, all that's left to look at is Demo 1 and Essential PlayStation. Except that's not true. Uh, not Essential PlayStation, uh, US PlayStation. Uh, but that's not true. Uh, I've got some winter releases, and a Namco demo CD! I have been waiting for this Namco demo CD because I'm pretty sure I had this. I am pretty sure I had this CD. It, if... Oh, maybe I didn't. This is not the one I had. I had something Namco. Maybe it was on the win... Maybe it's like a Namco section on the winter releases. But this is not the Namco demo that I had. This is very, very, very different. Okay. Intriguing. So what games have we got? Oh, I see. Okay, so there's Ace Combat 2. Interesting. I don't think we've actually played Ace Combat 2. We played Ace Combat 3. But I don't think we never played... We ever played 2. Um... But, uh, yeah. This is, a uh, Engage. Nyong. I mean, yeah, it, it feels pretty good. Like, much like Ace Combat 3 felt. It's kind of cool. Get him. I will fire as many missiles as it takes. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, Time Crisis and Treasures of the Deep. Um, makes sense. Videos, we've got Time Crisis, Ace Combat 2, and Treasures of the Deep again. Interesting. Download Ace Combat 2, Treasures of the Deep. So, to get information, download what? What are we downloading? Over a memory card. Okay, interesting. Weird. Um, okay, so there's museum. There's classics. Oh, what have we got in classics? Um, oh. Do we not get to play them? No, we don't. It just tells you they exist. Um, huh. Museum. List of museum titles. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, series of each disc was loaded. Now, okay. now, yeah, so, no, that, so, that's not what I'm talking about either. It wasn't, I, 
I don't know what I remember. It's such a vague memory. But it's like... It was like a... A Namco disc of... Like, just a trailer of different Namco games. And it had, like... Namco pieces of music. It, I don't I don't really know what it was. I might have it. Yeah, hang on one sec. Let me just see if I do have it. I, I, I'm going to see. It might be in the other room. Give me a sec. I'm going to have a look. If I do, great. If it will be anywhere, it will be in here. This little Spyro game pouch. Uh, if it exists anywhere. Uh, yeah, here. Namco demo. But this isn't the Namco demo I had. It's SCED-00789. So I could type that in on Google. And see... If it has like a separate name. Because this is not the demo I'm referring to. Um, so 0079. Uh, yeah, Namco Demo Disc. It's like... It's basically just a trailer, pretty much. Like, it's... it's it, from what I recall, um, there is a video that's like nine minutes long. And that's it. So actually, we might... We might before we move on to the like demo one... We might move up. We might watch that because that this is this is what I'm remembering, and I want to have a look at it because I don't have that for some reason. Yeah, because I don't know why it's one of those things. I just I can't. I don't, it, I don't think it was in the list of, of demos provided. Um, uh, uh, I don't have a disk drive. <laughs> My computer doesn't have a disk drive. Um, but I do have a video. Um, I have a YouTube video. Um, and also YouTube ads. Um, so I'm going to watch the video. Um, we're going we're gonna to mute the Namco demo. Uh, and we're gonna we're gonna watch this thing, um, cause yeah ah oh, yes okay so let's see uh, how would I do this, um, something like this so if I mute you for a sec oh that's me hi me how you doing, um, give me a sec I want the other display that one that one that's the one I want, um. Yeah, so, yeah, this is, this is basically, this is what I remember. Yeah! Yeah! Oh my god, this is quite nostalgic. This is, this is what I played. This is the Namco demo I had. Oh, it could be part of the winter releases, because it has that winter face. Okay, let me double check and make sure it's definitely not a winter releases uh, demo, because I haven't looked at the winter ones yet. Um, so let me just double check. Okay, it's not that. Um, I will look at these properly, um, but I just want to make sure. Uh, is it? I'm assuming no. I think that's that's the demo I had. You know when I said I I the demo this before seemed familiar. I think that's okay. It's not the same. Jesus Christ, that's 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 intense. There's a lot going on there. Uh, okay, yeah, let's watch this thing. I don't know why this wasn't part of the the list, but hey, let's let's go. Let's let's take a look. Cause yeah, I just remember. I just remember this being, I think it's all trailers. I think it's just like eight, nine minutes of trailers. But it just, it, I loved it. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, it's pretty cool. This was a fun game. Music's also not bad. Um, but yeah, um, but yeah I, I don't have a disk drive on my computer. Um, which is my my problem, I guess. Um, what, what we got next? We got Namco Museum. Yeah, this is what I remember. I remember the museum. I remember. I was gonna say I remember there being a museum of sorts. But I, like I couldn't. Like the memory I have of this is so so faded. But I just like I remember Pac Man walking around a gallery. But I was like, no, I can't say those words because that sounds like I'm insane. 
That can't be a real thing. No, it is a real thing. <laughs> That's exactly what this is. Yeah. Look at this. This is what I remember. Pack land. Okay. Yep. Oh my god. This, this is quite nostalgic. Because I've never played these games. I've just heard the music. Like, oh, and the sound and stuff. It's kind of crazy. Wow, okay. This is pretty cool. I'm glad that someone uploaded this demo and also put the actual name of it because yeah that's that's like people yeah people have the demo discs but may not have a way to play it so that's pretty cool oh god that's loud turn you down a switch as, as a very loud game <laughs> looks cool though Museum 5 includes five great games, like Pac-Mania. And Dragon Spirit. Metro Cross. Yes! I do remember that. Oh my god, I do <laughs> that. That fucking jingle. Oh my god, I've hummed that, not knowing where that's from. Just like. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my god, it's this. Let's hear that again for a second. This means. Because it's such a st like it's such a stupid like. And it's not even five seconds. Like it's it's such a quick like preview of this game that means nothing. And I'm just like, oh my god. That's been in my head for years. <laughs> like, oh my god. Wow. Oh wow. This is crazy. <laughs> it was in Smash 4. Oh really? Interesting. I bet there's gonna be another, like, part of this trailer or something that invokes a different memory. And you should be like, oh, I remember this jingle or something. Like, I bet you anything there's gonna be at least one more. This is absolutely wild. Alright, so next one. Uh, next one is... Soul Blade. I don't remember Soul Blade. If you think you are a fighter, ten great characters. Yeah, I don't really remember looking. I remember watching the Namco Museum one a lot. I don't know why I watched that that like trailer so much, or why this isn't like as memorable to me. Oh, okay. the music's pretty good. Right, we're putting that in the uh, music section. Yep. So blade. <laughs> I will I will go through my list of stuff uh, later, don't you worry. Um because yeah, this music's pretty good. Well what else is there in here? Soul Blade Time Cri Yes, I do remember Time Crisis. Ah, the taste of revenge is sweet. <laughs> Place of Revenge is sweet. <laughs> Smash his hand against the wall. We've been invaded. <laughs> e excellent. The, the voice acting is exquisite. As it should be. Fire! A race to beat the guy. I don't think I appreciated how like, weird this was back in the day. But, uh, yeah, let's see. What else is there? There's Time Crisis, and then there was Xevious 3DG. I don't have any memory of this. In 1983, there was Xevious. In 1997, there was Xevious 3DG. Whatever that. What kind of Kingdom Hearts title is this? 
hordes of enemies. Oh, I see. Okay, well, this actually looks kind of cool. The music sounds okay when you can hear it. There's a lot going on, though. Super 3D bosses. That's actually going to sound neat. I do remember this. But, uh, yeah. I just wanted to see the Namco demo. Because that's what I remembered. And it goes back to Smash Core Tennis, yeah. So, uh, pretty cool. Um, I enjoyed very much. I enjoyed all of that. It was good to look at it again. The Namco, the Namco Museum was honestly what I wanted to hear most. I just, I just remember it, and it was it was good times. But as I say, there are three more winter release demos. Um, there's winter releases 1997, where there is a lot happening in the background. Also, you can't see it. Um, uh, let me fix that. Yeah, there is a lot going on here. There, there is. There is a lot going on. My word. I appreciate that someone, you know, animated this. But, like, it, it's a lot. <laughs> it is a lot. Uh, let's see if the Crash 2 demo is the same level. It sure is. Is it better? It sure is. Um, Broken Sword 2, Roscoe McQueen, God's Precious Water, Medieval, I'm assuming is the same in the respect that it's... Oh, actually, it's a preview. Oh, it's an actual trailer. Oh, sweet. I don't think we've had a trailer for Medieval. What's with the green bone in the corner? Is that his health? Oh, this is really interesting. Well, this is a really different look at it. I also don't fully recognize this part of the level. This part of the level is different. This is fascinating. That's not there in the final version. That UI is different. Oh my god, this is fascinating. What the hell? Interesting. Not the museum of music of the mausoleum. Uh, the oh, is this the ant caves? No, maybe not ant caves. It's certainly not the music of the mausoleum though. Yeah, different camera angles. This is such an interesting demo. Oh look, the uh, like the the soul meter is different as well. Like, this is absolutely fascinating. These enemies are slightly different as well. At least I think they are. Maybe they're not, actually. What is that? Oh, okay. Oh, that's interesting. That works a little differently. It takes a while before it comes down. It just happens automatically, I think, in the final version. Oh, speaking of the ant caves. Um, <laughs> here's the ant caves. Uh, with music not for the ant caves. <laughs> yeah, so the soul you get from enemies is totally different. Whoa, what is that? The hell is that thing? This is so fascinating. Oh, what I wouldn't give there to be like a release version of this demo. I would love to play this version of the game to see how different it is. Because they're so much different. Admittedly, I haven't played ant caves in a while. But I think this might be even slightly different. This is so interesting. Oh, you're showing quite a late game level. I'm not familiar enough with this level, but you've got the blue sword still. I don't, I, I couldn't tell you what's different with this level. I've played this level like three times maximum in my life. So I'm not entirely sure what the differences are, but there is, I'm, I'm blown away by how different this is. It's so cool. Those swirly things on the floor and that. Yeah, I didn't recognize them. I thought they weren't. <laughs> okay, I wasn't sure. It's showing a lot. Oh my god, it really is. You get the maze as well. The uh, I love the icons in the top as well. They look very different. Um, <laughs> I love the little like hedge dragon. It's pretty good. It's so weird that your health is just some bones. Like, that's so weird. I mean, it makes sense, actually. Like... Thematically for the game, it makes more sense, but it, but like the vile system is really good. What the hell's that little skull dagger thing? Is that a shield? Wait, do you have a shield? You have a fire shield? That's not in the final game, is it? Oh, people from the um, asylum are here. I don't think they are in the final version. I think they're exclusive to the asylum. Oh, 
What level is this? Oh, wow. They are showing some real late game stuff. This is wild. They're showing so much of the game. So much, like, I, I've never seen this kind of gameplay before. This is so interesting. Huh. How much of this is there? Hey, Pumpkin Gorge, I love this all. Yeah. This is... So it was a, a new prototype, so... I mean, I don't know, this is, um, this is a demo from 1997. When did Medieval actually release? This version of the song is slightly different. It is. There's some instrumentation, but it's different. At least in 98. Interesting. So yeah, this is an early prototype. What, what the the new prototype that leaked? Uh, what year's that? Because I've been intrigued to try it out at some point. Oh, Scarecrow Field, sweet. Oh, the dragon's still here. Interesting. The scarecrows don't walk around, do they? I don't think they do. I think they, no, at least not like that. So that's new. This is so interesting. I was not expecting to see this. I don't remember you getting a broadsword from a chest either. Because you get points for enemies, I wonder if the Hall of Heroes actually exists in this version of the game. Oh, that would have been in Resurrecting, I guess. Oh my god, how much are they showing? So we're back to the ant caves. There's an extra bone for you. Interesting. So they, they still work like the vials. Yeah, because it says you got nine of them. Okay. Maybe they don't work like the vials. Maybe... Maybe it's just a straight-up live system, so you have three hits. Or... Well, maybe not. Because you have three lives. You do have lives there. It says there's a three next to Daniel's head. I'm not sure how the health system works. I'm not entirely sure what the health system is. It's similar, but not similar enough. But yeah, it's absolutely fascinating. That is wild that they are showing so much. Like, this has been a good, like, five to ten minutes of just straight-up content. This is so interesting. Yeah, we haven't seen health refills. But the, the thing that's interesting to me, because you see there, there were two bones there. But in the other shot, there was one bone, and it had a number next to it. It, went, it was nine, then when you got hit, it went to eight, and then we got hit again, it went to seven. So which of the two is it? <laughs> Unless it is both, and both, like, clips are from different points in development, and they changed it by that point. I don't know. It's so interesting. It's so, so interesting. Because, yeah, you've got the two bone system here as well. I... Oh, man. It's absolutely fascinating. I was not expecting to be blown away by a, a medieval demo. But I was. And am. And still am. Like, it's kind of excellent. <laughs> oh, I love this theme. So good. The zombies don't necessarily come out of the What is that? I wonder if that's the equivalent of the chalice, maybe? Because there's one in every level. I don't know. It's very bizarre. Wow, they die so easily here. They take ages in the final version. They just, they just immediately cease to be... Yeah, the sound effects don't have the same weight to them either. So cool. This is so cool. How much of this is there? Like, <laughs> it's, it's remarkable. Dude, 
is this a weapon in the final game? Because I don't remember this overpowered electric move. If it is, I have, like, zero memory of it. But, uh, I do enjoy the chess move. I, I enjoy chessboards, puzzle, it's fun. And it's cool and creative and good stuff. It's on the level of Zarex. Oh, it's on the last level, right. You just, you get it earlier in the game, I guess. Um, weird. Huh. Interesting for the... There's no, like... There's no sound effects for the weapon yet. How long will this go on for? Oh, God, they're creepy. <laughs> oh, this is super late game, isn't it? Yeah. I have legitimately only played late game twice. To play the PS1 version before the release of the remake, and the remake. <laughs> and that's it. The remake came out, what, 2018, was it? So, like, that's the last time I've played it. I don't remember... I don't really remember what late games really like. Um, it was also a time when I was depressed. Uh, so my memories of then are super hazy. So it's just like... Yeah, like, I don't fully remember late game. 2019, fair enough. Still. Like, it's been a while. It's been five years. <laughs> it's been a little bit. This is so interesting though, I like, just, it's such a radically different game at this point. Obviously like the fundamentals are there, like most of the enemies, the combat, it's all there, but like there's just so many little things that are totally different. I'm gonna speed forward and see how, like, oh man, the village, sleeping village. I may as well just be watching a walkthrough at this point. I don't think they're as uh, well defined as they are in the final version. I think they're uh, their their character models are a lot better. But yeah, this is wild. There you go. Wow. Wow. That is. That is one crazy demo. Sorry, was Crash 2 different? I need to I need to play Crash 2 now. I need to know. Is that is this a different demo? Is this gonna be like a tutorial of the entire game? No, it is still just this. I mean I may as well play it and see if it is actually different at all. My guess is no. But that was a wild, wild trailer. That was that was mind blowing. I think the slide on Polar is slightly different. Maybe not. I don't know. It feels more jittery than the final version. We still got the charge. It's such a weird decision to give you this level as the demo level. Like, you'd think they would give you the standard crash platforming. Or, like, maybe even two levels. So, like, maybe Turtle Woods, because Turtle Woods, honestly, is a solid first level. Um, and you can also, like, find a secret and feel good about it, so you'd actually be pretty satisfied doing it. Um, you might even discover the blue gem while you're at it, so, like, it's a pretty good level in that regard as well. Um, but yeah, surprised they didn't give you two levels, like this and that, you know? But yeah, I'm assuming, uh... Yeah, the game is uh, a lot more stop-starty. Um... Yeah, it does not have anything new. Um, okay, so, Bushido Blade... I mean, I've got to check. I presume it's just gonna be... Yeah, it's just gonna be the trailer. Yeah, it is, it is just the trailer, okay. What's Rapid Racer? Have we played... Oh! Yes, I do remember playing this. It's got an ocarina in the bottom left corner. <laughs> yeah, we did play this. 
it's, it's all right. It's an okay game. It's fine. Um, Frappa the Rapper, Karushi, Nami Creatures. So yeah, these are just like we've we've seen these all now. Uh, I'm I'm glad I went on Medieval. I normally I wouldn't, but yes, there's that. But there's two more Winter demos. Um, that that was Winter Releases '97. This is a uh, just it's just called Winter Releases Europe Australia. Um, I think I might have had this demo because this music seems familiar. Um, and it's got Wipeout. I mean, it's it's very similar to uh, the demo from earlier, um, but it does a Final Fantasy VIII that I don't recall ever seeing, really. Maybe I didn't have this specific demo. I don't know. Um, I had a demo that looked like this. I'm cute. Okay, I'm, I'm, I need to I need to go through these because I need to see, like, if there's anything that's like drastically different. Um, so. I'm assuming this is just going to be, you know, the the intro movie, which looks stunning. Just looks, I mean, it looks a bit grainy on this demo, but, you know, otherwise it looks stunning. Um, so, what how is that? I'm going backwards for some reason. Um, so, Crash Racing, I'm assuming, same as always, is it? Yeah, it's, it's that level. Um, Formula 199. Oh, it's a video, so I, I won't be playing it. I was gonna say, if it's maybe I'll get to play this game when it's not glitchy as hell. Uh, no, I will not. Um, Spire two, I assume, same as always. It's the two level. Oh wait, is it? Hang on a sec. Is it a? Uh, is it a uh, video? It didn't specify it was a video. Look, the portals are different. They're the classic portals from Spire one. Huh. This is kind of neat. So yeah, like this is this is a little different. There's no enemy in that final room usually, so that's different. Also, the music's on Spire One. It's for the um, speedways. There's like, I don't know if you saw. There's like a in this area. There's just a weird opening that's not usually there, which is cool. Do you remember Turtle Soup? I do. It's it's the best. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I think we have seen this trailer in the past, but hey, you know what? It can't hurt to look at again. It is Spyro classic style. Oh, interesting. The uh, like the icons in the hockey game are different. Yeah, my guess is the music wasn't composed yet. So I mean, it makes sense if you haven't composed the music yet. Just use stuff from the first game. It works just as well. Oh, wow! Gobs Arena is so different! Wow, why did they change that? That's awesome! That looks stunning! Wow! Oh, that is gorgeous! That is absolutely gorgeous! Wow! Okay, crazy. Um, so Medieval 2, I'm assuming it's just, it's just a trailer, right? Do you remember? Do you remember when this happened? And then more happened. More things happened. I have seen this trailer because uh, whenever something like this comes up for a Patreon vote, I'll watch a trailer and react to it and be like, ah, oh, this is what the game is like. Um, and uh, I've done that once or twice for this game. I couldn't tell you how many things differ from the final version because I've never played this game besides the first level that was in one of the other demos. But it sure looks interesting. There's a lot going on. There is a lot going on. So, yeah, the blue sword's back, baby! <laughs> Fun. Medieval. And then... Oh, Tarzan! Oh, sweet. 
Is it, uh, is it the... Yeah, it's coming of age. Yeah, it makes sense. I have played this demo a couple times. I'm not going to play it. Uh, but I just want to have a brief look for, like, ten seconds. But yeah, it's, uh, I, I have played this demo, I think, like, twice throughout the course of this series. So, yeah, we won't do it again. Um, but, uh, yeah, then there's this football again. Okay, there is one more demo. There's one more winter demo. There it is. Here it is. Winter releases 98. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that's a lot. There is... Ooh, there's a lot going on. Okay. Spice World! Are you ready for copyright? Play video, please. Yeah, there it is. Copyright, baby. Doctor Who music. <laughs> Te technically not wrong. Uh, Blitter Boy. You decided to put Blitter Boy in here from Net Your Rose. Why have you done this? Why have you done this? I mean, I... I... Alright, good. No, none of that. Treasures of the Deep! Treasures of the Deep is legit, actually, pretty good. Music's pretty solid. The music is legit real good in this game. But anyway, yeah, we, we, we've played that before. Uh, Treasures of the Deep. Tumby! Oh, my love! I love it. It makes me very happy. I mean, I'm assuming it's just the beginning of the game. It sure is. It's uh, it's probably the exact same demo as the uh, the previous ones, but Tumbi is the best game ever. Surprised there was actually never a demo for Tumbi 2. Um, I don't even think there was a trailer. Like, it's such a shame because like this, like obviously it, it's it's such a Tumbi and Tumbi 2 by extension is such a niche classic, um, and it's it's gained more popularity over time. Um, but I think. When they released the demo, I think everyone who was releasing it was like, they've got a real hit on their hands. This is going to be a big game. Like, this is going to be huge. Um, and it, it is, it is, but it's, it didn't, it just didn't get the popularity it deserved. And it's such a, it's such a shame. So if you've never seen, if you don't know Tumbi, you're in, honestly, just go in and play it blind. It's one of the best uh, platforming RPGs you ever play. It's awesome. It's an absolutely awesome game. Um, Tekken 3, I mean, I'm assuming it's the same demo as the previous ones. Um, or it's actually just the intro cutscene. Okay, no, it is. Yeah, okay. Ah, I'm trying, believe it or not, I am trying to watch. Please. Okay, there we go. We're in. Yes, it's the same demo. <laughs> Spyro, the dragon. Oh, Spyro 1 specifically. Interesting. Oh, Sony Computer Entertainment Europe presents Loading. It's a cool game. It's called Loading. Oh, this is the title screen music. Interesting. This is going to be a very interesting demo. I don't think I've. Thank you for releasing me. Free the dragons in the artisan world, then seek out the balloons. He'll transport you to the next world. What about Nasty Nord? That's all I can tell you. That's very interesting. All of that dialogue is different. The camera angle is different. This is fascinating. I think I've played this. Not this demo, but I played a prototype about two or three years ago, maybe? Um, that I think was like this. I think. Uh, I guess I should, like, speak to you and see... Whoa, this camera angle is awful. Um, like, what? will you, like, give me anything? There are many more worlds for you to explore. I will take you to see them when the game is finished. <laughs> that's pretty good. I like that. That's cool. I respect that. We we all respect it. It's very good. Yeah, this is fascinating. So Stonehill is there. Am I going to be actually able to go into Stonehill as well? Okay, maybe so. All right. This is not a nothing demo. There's actually, you know, a fair amount of substance to it. Um, so... Yeah, that's pretty cool. Alright, so that's that. We got that. I mean I've gotta I've gotta try the speedway, see if that unlocks. I gotta know. It probably does. It might not have anything behind it. I mean we'll find out. 
It only has Stone Hill and Dark Hollow. Fair enough. But does it though? Does it have a speedway as well? Where's Nasty? Oh, Torchin. Go after some sheep first. Those little creatures release butterflies, which sparks the dragonfly eats. Sparks protects you. Wow, all of this dialogue <laughs> is so unfinished. Sparks protects you. <laughs> So weird. Yeah, the platforms do look different. But do they work the same way? That's the question. They do not. Interesting. Fair enough. Or at least they don't in the demo. They might in the current version of the or current build of the game, if I was to play that. Um but if for the purpose of this, no. Press the jump button twice to glide, and, and don't be afraid of what? Falling from high mountain peaks, plummeting into prehistoric glaciers, crashing through all oh, that. Interesting. Uh, crashing through is not included, otherwise that is the exact same line delivery. So they cut off crashing through in the final version. Uh, Spyro's delivery is different. Because he's like, afraid of what? Or something like that in the final version. So it's the line delivery is slightly different. Um, but yeah, it's interesting that the, uh, the artisan's theme does play when speaking to the dragons. But otherwise, no. It doesn't exist! It's a lie! Alright, fair enough. Yay. It is good to play Spyro again. I do enjoy it. It is Spyro. It is the dragon. It is fun. It is my my babes. I can't see. <laughs> like, please, game. No, I blew it. I absolutely blew it. Yeah. Whee. Oh, the, like... Like, the full, like, animation is way slower. There's, like, a proper delay. That's weird. Yeah, there's no gems over here. Cool. As I said, there's usually gems on that side, but I thought maybe they might have been moved, but they haven't. Um, yeah, that is weird. Okay, so the little boost you get whilst uh, charging does still exist. Which is good to know. Oh yeah, there's no dragon here. Right you are. I'm gonna assume Toasty's head doesn't ever open. Oh, it would be interesting to know though. Oh I don't know how I don't know how to do it. I'm going to try this once and only once. I don't know how to do it. But you can, like, it's unbelievably precise as a speedrun trick. You can glide along here. No, I, I couldn't do it. I don't know. It, it's really precise. You can glide along there. Then you can start charging up the wall and jump over into the back of the head. Because the back of the head has no collision. I bet you anything Toasty is still in there and active. It's just you can't access it. Which is quite interesting. Um, but, hey-ho. Oh, they're gold instead of silver. That's fun. Dark Hollow. Fun fact, Crash Team Rumble has this uh, the, the, this level's song in it, um, but it's called Dark Hollow for some reason. Also, Dark Hollow is playing. That's fun. It is one of my favourite songs in the game, so that's nice. And they have blood on their swords. Okay, that's interesting. I can't remember which version of the game doesn't have it. It's, it's probably the PAL version. Um, but yeah, they uh, they have it here. So that's something they remove. Um, oh, okay. Well, you don't have a <laughs> you don't have a dialogue yet or animation or yeah. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, Crumble's got some really good music. Uh, I it's it's a shame that they're. Uh, but it, it's ended. Um, I, I was enjoying like making like a monthly video or like not even monthly, like every week or two weeks or whatever. 
Um, it was a lot of fun. But uh, alas, the time is over. And we look forward to seeing what Toast Bob working on next. Whatever it may be. Yeah, they did the levels first. I mean, that makes sense. Uh, animation, um, certainly for like cutscenes, are quite a last minute thing. Um, like, it's why in a lot of prototypes you'll see like the cutscenes are totally unfinished or just non existent. Um, like, cutscenes are. They're, they're, um, they're obviously an important part of the game, but they're not the centerpiece. The centerpiece is the gameplay. You need to make sure Spyro feels good before before you actually bother making like an hour worth of cutscenes to go alongside it. Um, an hour would be an exaggeration for this game, but you know what I mean. Um, oh, right! I do remember that. So yeah, there's a gem in the portal itself. Um, which is obviously a very big difference. That's not how it operates in the final version of the game. Um, yeah, so this is the same version of the demo for the prototype that I played like, a couple years ago. Um, or that prototype is of this demo, I guess. Is um... Oh, Rumble, Crumble had so much potential. Um, it's just... Yeah, like it, it just didn't have the uh, popularity. I, I maintain that I think... The best way it could have thrived would have been to be completely free and to only, uh, like, the only paywall would be one battle pass. Specifically one, because after that, much like Fall Guys, you could make, uh, like, points through the game to pay for the next battle pass. I think that would have been the best way to do it. Because the game would have been free, would have had like thousands upon thousands of more eyes on the game, uh, and more people maybe willing to give it a bigger go, uh, being a bit invested in it. Um, and yeah, it's just uh, it's just a shame that uh, that sort of fell through. Um, but I think that would have been the best way for it. Thing is, I do recommend picking it up when it's cheaper. Um, it's a great game. It's really fun and gets very addicting. Uh, the biggest problem you will face is you will be against people who know what they're doing. Um, and there's no way you can avoid that. So you are going to be at a major disadvantage where you're getting like destroyed a fair bit. Um, at least early game. Um, you'll get better, obviously. Um, but it will be a trial by fire where you are learning the game in the most intense environment because you're against god tier players. Much like Crash Team Racing is nowadays. If you play Crash Team Racing online, having just bought it, you are screwed. Like, there's no hope for you. Um, and if the game was to ever come to PC, the same thing would occur. You'll play online, and realistically what's going to happen is you will be partnered with at least one person um, who knows exactly what the hell they're doing in that game, and you will never be able to touch them. They will be, uh, they will overlap you and you will suffer. Like, that is just what's going to happen if, if racing comes to PC. Um, and I hope it does. I want it to come to PC. Also, this is, uh, this is Credit Stream slash Misty Bob. Um, but, uh, yeah. I, I, I really want Crash Team Racing to come to PC, but it is just one of those things where it will be, it will be an impossibility to win online. You have to get good the old-fashioned way by not playing online for a lot. Um, yes, practice mode is good for sure. Um, but it's it's not like you're playing a story mode. Practice mode gets boring quite quickly because you want to be playing the main mode. Um, party mode is actually quite good because you're working collaboratively as opposed to against each other. So the party mode actually does help soften the blow a bit, I suppose. Party mode's really fun. Party mode is so good. And it, I think they had a lot of ideas for it. Um, I believe, like, some of the, like game file names were leaked and there was like 20 different party mode names and just like right it's clear they had the idea of releasing one or two new party games every single season maybe even more later down the line um because the thing is with the party mode games is they take time to develop it's it is coding and blah 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 like it, it's not like you just blink and they've been made they do take time um it's creating a whole new mode for the game um so and also, it needs to be a balanced mode. Like, the Toys of Bob Lab stuff was really fun, but they were unbalanced and unpolished. 
Um, they, they were polished, but like they were unbalanced because they the whole point of the Tuspod Labs was like, this is a thought experiment. Does it work? We need more people to play it and see if it actually works and if people like it. If so, we'll develop it into a main mode um, and maybe even a party mode uh, thing. Um, but yeah, it's what it is. But uh, we'll we'll see what happens. It's uh, it's gonna be interesting for sure. Um, uh, but yeah, I, I do recommend Crumble. Like when it's when it's cheaper, like it'll 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 be like a fiver next year, guarantee. Like pick it up then, give it a go. If you don't enjoy it, it's five pounds. Like whatever, that's nothing. Like. In, in an uh, ideal world, it might even come free on Game Pass in a couple months. Um, I think that would have been like a really good like selling point as well. Make it like if not make it free entirely, make it entirely free on PlayStation Plus and Game Pass. That would have been like a like would have been a just a no brainer to get loads of people. I prefer Crash Bash, I think, but then I have a weird nostalgia for it. Um, I have a weird nostalgia for it from when I played it as a kid, but also I have a nostalgia for the playthrough that I did with my friend Emil, where we did 200% because it was it was a lot. It was an intense playthrough, um, but it's like it's one of those things where it's like a what's the um. What's the term when you, uh, when you, like, uh, uh, like a victim starts falling in love with its captor? Like, I, I kind of love Crash Bash, even though it has just been destroying me for years. <laughs> like, I can't, I can't take away the love that I feel for it. It's basically like that. That's the relationship I have with Crash Bash. It's not healthy. Oh god, it's not healthy. But it's, uh, but it's, it's, it's the truth. Oh, I'm missing a two. No, I'm not. There we go. And that's the demo. Thing is, it's not, it, it is, it has its bad elements, but it is a good game. Like, you can't take away from the fact that it's a good game. But, uh, yeah, that should be everything we've done here. Um, I'm going to assume the big dragon head does not open. It does not! Wow. Can you believe it? Um, Crash Bandicoot 3 video. Is it the bomb, bomb, bomb? Yeah, it is. You love to see it. Medieval again! Oh, but this is playing this time. Okay, is it the first level? Is it Dance Crypt? Yes, it's Dance Crypt. Okay, we've seen this demo then. Uh, Cooler World! Oh, you love to see it. Good demo. Oh, this is a very different demo. The exit's not usually there. Ooh. Ooh. This is nice. The demo you usually get is uh, an earlier build. I think this is this is closer to final build because it's got the actual music for this level. Exciting. This music is so good. <laughs> It really, it's like, it's a slow start, but it really builds. And like a minute later, it's just like, it's real good. It's a great song. It's a great game. It's a big happy time for all. We will have happy times. Yes, if you collect all the, well, the keys you need to collect for, um, for the escape. But, uh, yes, collecting fruit will lead you to a bonus level. Um, uh, is this gonna work? Yeah, yeah, this is this is the beginning of the game. But, yeah, the, the demo before wasn't even these levels, is what I mean. Like, it was, it, they were totally different levels. Um, oh, would that work? Yeah. Yeah, it would. I love stuff like that. It's cool. Uh, I'll go this way, I think. Do I? I do. Da, 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 da. Give me fruit. Yummy! <laughs> it's a 
very satisfying sound. Yeah, because it won't let me leave. I thought so. How do I get out of here? Yeah, there we go. Give me that time back, baby. Uh, now, how do I get to you? It's a great question. I don't know. I don't remember how I get to you. I remember how I get to you. Okay. I would need to do something like... No. <laughs> Yes, okay, yeah, no, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, I know what I want to do. I haven't played this in a while, I've forgotten how the puzzle, it's actually quite a difficult puzzle for level one, but, uh, yeah, I want to do this. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, do I want to do this? Something like this. Yes, something like this. Oh, yeah, there we go. Running out of time, who cares? Time's not important, it is a little bit. There you go. Oh, buy, buy followers. You can also buy bands. Well, can you believe it? There we go. Bonus world, yeah. Give me them sweet rubies. There's also a bunch of pills if you want them. I don't really want the pills, but I can have them if I really am desperate. I don't think they do much besides make things trippy and stuff. It's pretty cool. Yeah! Yay, I did it. And then it tells me of the main game. Look. Look, there's that, and then there's this world. I think there's 10 worlds each with 20 levels, and the game is not easy. Level, like, World 1 just proved it's quite challenging in places. This only gets way, way harder. It's a very impressive game. I love it. Absolutely love it. Gran Turismo. Ghost and Shell. And yeah, that's it. That's the, uh... That's the winter releases. And with that... With that... We've done all of the Eidos, Essential, and all of the miscellaneous stuff. We've only got two batches of demos to go. Demo 1, and the US PlayStation Magazine versions. So, let's start with Demo 1. Um, we're going to take a look. So, uh, Fox said, I think this was like, this. these demos came with the PlayStation 1, um, I think. Uh, I never had these, so I don't know what they're really like. Um, but I'm intrigued by them. So, yeah, let's take a look. Graphics. A lot of info that you cannot read. Yeah, these are, uh, these are gonna be very interesting. Uh, obviously, much like the, uh, previous demos, because I played so many of the demos on the, the PlayStation magazines, if they're demos that are repeats, I'm not going to play them. I'll have a look very briefly, but I'm not going to play them because it's pointless. We've already seen them. But I'm intrigued to see what Demo 1 is like because I'm intrigued to see what Demo 1 is like. So, let's go. Demo 1! It's pretty cool, actually. All right, games. Let's see what games is like. Okay, so we've got Wipeout, uh, Battle Arena, Toshiden, Destructive Derby, Total NBA, Loaded. So it's actually quite similar to the first PlayStation magazine, actually. Um, it's, uh, it's got a lot of that stuff. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's got a lot of these. Um, PlayStation. Um, although I don't know if this demo was specifically in the, uh, the previous demo disc, so that's cool, I guess. I mean, it doesn't help that I, uh, I started this by, uh, doing a, a fast forward so I missed the start of the race. But yeah, this is actually, I think this is different slightly. But there are seven of these, so I'm intrigued to see what they're like, because um, I have no idea. Whoa. Danger. Yeah, we have definitely not played this demo. That's cool. 
At least not exactly the same. It's it's somewhat different. The uh, the AI. Uh, oh wait, no, that wasn't an AI. I thought there was an AI just in the sky. <laughs> uh, but I guess not. Whoops. I'm here to crash into all things and be very bad at it apparently. But this is a great game. Actually, the camera angles in this game are really nice. That's that's actually very very impressive indeed. Missile. Yeah, that's a uh... shockwave. <laughs> shockwave, right? Well, I it's not being used against me, that's for sure. Could you give me like better weapons, please? The answer is no. You will, you will, you will have what uh. You have. I can't, I'm, I'm finding it very hard to control, um, but it is fun. It's very fun. See, that was more missile. Yeah, if you tap the wall, you are just absolutely screwed at that point. It's impressive. Um, yeah, we lost. <laughs> All right. What else is there? There's a uh, there's Battle Arena Toshin Den. Um, did we play this? So, let's play as Ellis. I don't remember this. I'm against Ellis. Oh, they actually, look, she looks very different in that shot. That's kind of cool, but like the alternate version looks quite different. Okay. Wow, you are annihilating me. Stop it. Oh my god. Yeah, I played the second one, so I've not played the first. So that's cool. Jesus, can, please let me hit you. God damn! Oh my god. Just so overpowered. The music's pretty good. I'm gonna need a miracle to win. And a miracle I will create. No, no, I'm dead. <laughs> of course I'm dead. Just absolutely annihilated me. I never give up. Game over. Yep. <laughs> good stuff. Big sads. Alright, let's try this again. Uh, actually, no, let's not. Let's uh, let's play... Uh, Destruction Devil we definitely played. Tell NBA... I mean, I haven't played, but I'm assuming I can I can work out what, it, what it's like. Is it... At least, I, I don't think I've played it. Maybe I have. I did play a basketball game. I don't know if it was this one. Am I actually playing? No, I'm watching. I'm watching them play. I am appreciating the game that is... Uh, if I am playing at all, I'm not playing well. No, I'm definitely not playing. <laughs> Alright, cool. Um, loaded. I don't know what loaded is. I still don't know what loaded is. Oh my god, what? What is happening? Okay, I'm playing as Mama. Okay. Well, this music is intense, okay? What is this? Jesus Christ! Well, I can't get in the door, so that's a solid start, right? Okay, I guess I'm not going that way then. I'll go this way. Oh, I've got a key card, okay. That immediately helps me out, I guess. Um, yeah, let's go this way. No, I can't. I, I will go everywhere but the actual way to go. Not that way. Can I can I go this way now? Yeah, because there's the yellow light. I bet I can. Yeah, there we go. This game is kind of wild. There's a there's a lot going on. You may have noticed there's a lot going on. I have no idea what my health is, but now I'm just a big white blob on the floor. Okay. <laughs> that's uh that was that sure was a game. Um uh Okay, so I want to... Yeah, we want to go to VCD. I don't know what that means. What is VCD? Oh, I can put in music and... Oh, I see. That's cool. Okay. Preview. Alright, so we got we got some previews here. So we got, we got Tekken. Do you want to see what Tekken's like? Here it is. Yeah! The original... I mean, Yoshimitsu is just a badass. You love to see it. Character has changed a lot over the years. 
Like, King's remained, like, mostly the same, but, yeah. And uh, we've got Starblade Alpha? Okay. I don't really remember playing this. I might not have. Um, but yeah, it looks alright, I suppose. It's certainly interesting. Um, what else is there? Oh, Jumping Flash! Yeah, this was, uh, this was actually pretty cool. Um, like, one of the first, if not the first, 3D platformer. Um, it's, uh... It's pretty impressive. I actually, I really enjoyed it when I played of it. Um, it was, it was pretty neat. So, yeah. Uh, Jumping Flash is cool. Respect it. Uh, Ridge Racer, obviously. Respect Ridge Racer. It's uh, an excellent racing game. Go! What a start! I believe in you! What a start, he says. Like, being really far back. The, uh, the, the guy, like, calling out, like, all of it isn't as satisfying as the, uh, Namco lady in Rage Racer. And they have three laps to go! I don't know, it's just, a uh, it's a very nostalgic, like, voice clip. <laughs> Damn, like they are turning with style and accuracy, and yet yeah, they're not catching up to the, the leading pack that quickly. <laughs> yes, yeah, pretty cool. That's pretty neat. Uh, rapid reload. I do not recognise this. Okay. This is kind of interesting, I guess. Hmm. That's alright, I suppose. Cool. And then... Tw oh, Twisted Metal, right, yeah. This game was uh, pretty cool. I, I enjoyed it. It was certainly a, a fun time. Um, like, the tw yeah, the Twisted Metal... I didn't play much of it. Like, a, well, it was just like the one arena, right? But it was, uh, it was, it was alright. Whoa. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, you are super dead. <laughs> nice. Um, yeah, there's actually quite a lot of, uh, like, things you can see there, which is pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, what's in tech? What does tech mean? I don't know. Dinosaur. Yeah, no, I see dinosaur. I see that. I don't know what it means, but I see it. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> this is kind of awesome. So I guess the tech is just like, oh, we want to show you. Some fun animations we made. I'm assuming I can't control it, no. No, definitely not. Oh, actually, I can move the camera. Oh, that's fun. Oh, that is fun. <laughs> hello, hello! Hello! Welcome to my new... I can make... I can make this dinosaur a VTuber! Hello! This is me. Yes, that's me. I am Tyrannosaurus, the Rex, the only one. Hi. Ah. 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 I love it. I'm angry today, aren't I? Yes, I am. <laughs> Amazing. Let me look to the side. Eh, 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 I'm done. Or am I? It was pretty good. Uh, I do remember Astro's Playroom, yes. Uh, this time it's a manta ray. Oh, this is quite cool. I'm I'm enjoying Manta Ray. Manta Ray is cute. 
Music's actually quite good as well. This is kind of cool. I kind of like this. I appreciate it. It's pretty neat. Yeah, okay. That's cool. Well, that seems to be the first demo one. But now there's demo one two. <laughs> um, so let's see what demo one two is about. If uh, I presume it will have different stuff in it. Um, the first boss of that T-Rex. Oh, okay. So yeah, now we can play stuff like Wipeout. We can play Jumping Flash, which we have played. There's Nova Storm, which I do not remember at all. Oh, yes, I do. It was on the first demo, wasn't it? Yeah, and it was, like, surprisingly difficult. Yeah, oh, this was on the first demo. Wow, yeah, this is a blast in the past. Best. We look like flying PNGs. Speed up. Nice. I will destroy everything. It is my destiny. Yeah, this game's alright. Anyway. Um, but, uh, yeah, let's see. So, what else is there? There's, uh... So, we've still got these... So, it's mostly the same stuff, but there's now ESPN Extreme Games. Um, which I think we played as well. Yeah, we did play this. We definitely played this. Uh, so virtual CD is going to be the same. Preview might be different though. Uh, what's in preview? We've got Tekken, Edge Racer, Rapid Reload, uh, Air Combat Assault Rigs. Okay, what's Crazy Ivan? Oh, I do remember this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, we, we've seen this. And then Tech. Is the Tech different for Volume? No, it's the same for Volume 2. Okay, so the, the, the Volumes are kind of similar. Um, I wasn't expecting... I, I didn't know if they were going to be, like, totally different, or if they were going to be similar-ish. Um. Oh, this is different. Look at this logo. Whoa! Oh, that's a cool, like, morphing effect. It's like paint sort of swirling. I kind of love it. Um, okay, yeah, this is very different. This is a very different vibe, isn't it? Alright, let's go. Oh, look at this. Look, it's Flubber in a, in a compression tube. <laughs> Excellent. Alright, let's see what we got. Games. So we got Descent. Okay, we're starting with some with some strong stuff. What is Descent? I don't remember. <laughs> that doesn't help, I'll be honest. I don't know what Descent is yet. Uh, yeah, it's crazy actually. Demo 1's very different, isn't it? Descent. Oh. Maybe I do sort of remember this. Yeah, I think I do remember this. It was, it was actually, it was all right. It was an all right game. It wasn't amazing, but it was all right. Okay, well, we're not going to play that anymore. Uh, Power Soccer, no. Uh, Toshin Dead 2! Uh, Ridge Racer, again. Tekken 2. The Alien Trilogy, Actual Golf. Okay, so the, these games are all, you know, we, we've played these demos before. Um, um, so we, we'll go for movies next. What's in movies? Available now on video, the net. Wait, what? When you said movies, I didn't think you meant a movie. I thought it was going to be a trailer. <laughs> you mean it, that it wasn't like I double clicked, right? No, that's that's just it's just that. Okay, <laughs> interesting. And in tech, we got a. We got Dino and Manta, and I'm assuming they're the same, right? Yeah, they're the same. Hello! Yeah. Hello. It's pretty cool, honestly. It's really cool. I do I do remember the dinosaur. Yeah, it was it was pretty neat. I it's it's cool that Astro's uh, playroom like utilized that. Um, oh again, we've got a different style, or at least a little bit, a little bit of a different style. Um Alright, so, what have we got in games here? Has there been a different... Uh, we got to Crash Bandicoot's the first. Oh, look at that. Look at that image. That is an excellent image. Oh my gosh. We, uh... I don't know if we ever played a demo of the first game. We must have. 
I don't remember. Oh, yeah, no, we did. I was going to say, like, I don't remember what the level would have been. But yeah, this does seem familiar. Um, yeah, I was going to say, like, what, what, did we, what did we play if uh, I can't land on this TNT? I cannot land on this TNT. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, what, what level did we play if, uh, if we did play it? Um, but yeah, I think it is pretty much the same demo. I think we can be assured of that. Um, which is fine. I'm okay with that. I don't mind. It's, uh, but I, I will, I will move out of it, because we have looked at it. Um, so what else is there? Uh, we've got, uh, Action Golf, Descent, Die Hard, excellent, Touching Den 2, Power Soccer, Tekken 2, F1, Monster Trucks, Wipeout, Destruction Derby. Okay, I'm curious to see what the F1 game is, because which F1? There's a lot of them, and most of them haven't worked, so I'm, I'm intrigued. I think this is 96? Yes, it says 96 there. So yes it is. Well, I knew it wasn't 97. Um, so that's, uh, let's, let's just, let's go. Oh, maybe this was the demo I played. I was gonna say, like, I could have sworn I played a, a, an F1 game that was, like, Nürburgring, um, in arcade mode. And maybe it's this. Maybe this one, I'm remembering. I'll just cheat. It doesn't matter. Okay, this music goes pretty hard, to be fair. This music's pretty good. F197's music's really good because it's, um... It, it, it doesn't use music for the racing, it just uses it for, uh... Actually, it does in the arcade mode. That's not corrected. Uh, but it, its music is used, um... Mainly in its menus. And its menu music is uh, astonishingly good. Um... So, you know, that's, uh, that's pretty cool. But yeah, this actually, this is quite reminiscent of 97. I mean, obviously it came before it. But uh, the F1 games have drastically changed over the years. Um, like, different developers, different publishers, different everything. So, like, I wasn't sure what type of game this was going to be. Um, but yeah, it feels pretty good to play. I'm unsure if I actually did play this one. I think it might have been 97 that I played a demo of. Um, so, yeah. The car does seem to want to veer to the left a tiny bit, um, which is interesting. Uh, not left, right, sorry. Um, like, without me doing anything, it just wants to go right a little bit, uh, which is not ideal. Um, but, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, so, what have we got in movies? Go on. Broken Sword. It's just going to be this single movie. Every comes a brand new adventure of epic proportions. Excellent. <laughs> I, I like the the gargoyle. Broken it's pretty good. Sword, the shadow of the Templars. Oh, this is. Oh, that's right. I was thinking it was a totally different game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, like the atmosphere of that like first shot is so different to what the game's actually like. I genuinely forgot what the game was. But uh, Dino and Manta are still there, which is good. Is the Manta any different at all? We'll never know because I didn't press it quickly. I, I went to speed up to get past the loading and forgot that there was like another thing I needed to press play on. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, okay, we got three more to go on demo one. Version five, baby! Demo one, version five. What do we got? We have got games, Abe's Odyssey, oh, we got Hercules, alright, go on, gotta see Hercules, oh, that's a great image, I'm assuming it's the first level, oh, no, that's right, yes, we have played this demo, yeah, because I was surprised that they chose this level, because it's not, it, it, one, it's long, and two, it's, it's hard, so, yeah, I, I do remember us playing that, um, I honestly can't read what that says, Tanker. I could read Tanker. I couldn't read what the first word was. Life Force. Is that what they said? He said Life Force? We have played this. I, I can see Life Force now I know. I thought the first letter was a D or an A or something. I was like, D-F-E? That makes no sense. But yeah, okay. Fair enough. Oh my god. Rage Racer. The actually Rage Racer Rage Racer. You mean the best racing game of all time? Yeah. I love this game. It's so good. Even the sound effects. Boop! So good. Ah. 
Is it stream? Oh, it won't let me change the music. Oh, okay. Guess we're doing random play music. I was gonna do Silver Stream, because Silver Stream's good. It's probably just gonna be track number one. Oh, no! You're going, uh... Hurricane... Hurricane something. I forget what the song's called. But yeah, it's Hurricane something. Oh, this this mute this soundtrack is absolutely god tier. It just is. It just is. This whole game is like it's the tracks. Whilst the track it is like just repeating the same four tracks over and over. The tracks are great. The cars are great. It feels great to play. The music is astonishing. It just oh, the sound design on the cars themselves is great. It just it is it is great. It is just great. So this is going to be tough because I'm going to go around you on the outside, but... Well, never mind, that didn't go well. That went very, very badly. Okay, who's behind me? Okay, no one fast is catching up, at least. I was going to say, that, that's a tough corner at the best of times. But I had to try and go around two cars on a very tight corner, like, that's not happening. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's not going to give me more than one lap, is it? Sads. Too, too bad. Okay. Uh, rapid race. Which one was rapid racer? Oh yeah, yeah, it's that one. Um. Okay. And then we got Kurushi, which was. Oh yeah, that game. Yeah, that's a hard game, but it was cool. Uh, what was overboard? I don't know. Let's find out. Uh, oh. It was this game. This game was cool. I keep forgetting its name, but it was cool. It was a genuinely cool game. I got, I got multiple cannons. Did I put this in my list of like games to try? Because if I didn't, let me do that. I think I did. Uh, I did not. Honestly, I should. Because it actually is legit pretty cool. Uh, overboard. There you go. Um, it is a pretty neat game. Um, okay, so let's uh, let's go back. We've got a uh, we've got other things to look at, like movies. What movies have you got for us? Oh my gosh, we got Soul Blade and Roscoe McQueen. Hell yeah! We've actually got a trailer for Roscoe. I don't think we've seen a trailer for Roscoe before. Yeah, we saw a trailer for this earlier, so we've seen that one. But I need I need to see the Roscoe McQueen trailer. Oh my god, this is this is big hype. Oh my gosh, look at him. What a legend, about to save the world, one firefighter at a time. God's precious water. Interesting, most of the footage is from the first level. Oh, maybe not anymore. But, it was. <laughs> okay, music, me again, music's pretty good. It's alright. I still want to play more of this. Like... The game's not great, but it's, like, it's interesting. I didn't hate playing it. It's got, like, the James Bond theme. It's like an undertone to it. Strange. I mean, from this, like, trailer, it looks pretty good. And to be fair, from the demo of the first level, the game's pretty good. Like, it, it does everything right. Tech is, I'm assuming, still Dino and Manta, sure is. All right, we got two more of demo one to go. This is version six. Oh, it's got a cute little goldfish, okay. Not what I was expecting, I'll be honest. Oh, this is a very different look. I like it. I like it a lot, oh, nice. Okay. Oh man, look at this. This is so cool. I kind of love it. Oh, they've got such style here. Look at this. 
demo one, baby. Implies that we're going to see Final Fantasy VII in trailer form. Oh, I hate the hand, though. Oh, my God. Uh, this is... Oh, I love this kind of stuff. So good. So, so good. Now, I don't know if all this stuff is what we're actually getting on the demo, or if it's just, hey, this is PlayStation. Because it... It could be either. Okay. <laughs> lips. <laughs> good. Look at the lips and appreciate them. I've heard this song. Oh, man. Wild. Okay. This is cool. Wow, I didn't know where this came from. So we got Gran Turismo. Well, they really went all out here, didn't they? Tekken 3. I mean, I, okay, I mean, I have to look. I assume it's the same as usual. It, it sure is. Yeah, it's the same. Um, medieval. Okay, we have to look. I mean, again, I'm assuming it's first level. Yeah, ha, ha, ha. The graveyard. Oh, no, it's different. This is a different demo. Ooh. Interesting. Interesting. You get a life bottle immediately. It won't let me run for some reason. Do I... Oh, I double tap. Okay. Yeah, so it gives me a life bottle immediately. Yeah, this is very different. Like, it's, it's clearly made for, like, for the purpose of the demo. It's just going to give you some stuff. Okay. Oh, it gives you another life bottle? Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it clearly doesn't want you to die. It wants you to have fun here. Which, honestly, good call. It's not the same as the previous version of the demo. Um, because, uh, or, like, it's not the same as the, uh, the prototype, like, footage we've seen before. Because, uh, we can see Chalice <laughs> and Coin and, like, all of that stuff. <laughs> and the level design is as it should be. <laughs> so, uh... Yeah, it said start instead of new game. Yeah, the tombstone was different. I was going to say, that it looks different. Um, yeah, this is uh, obviously implemented, which is good. Yeah, it is very interesting. But uh, but it is cool to, you know, see Medieval again. It's uh, It feels feels nice to, you know, play some of the, the childhood classics um, at the end of this, this huge two-year journey. Because the fact that I've been doing this for two years, on and off, is, you know, it's a lot, but it's been a lot of fun as well. And uh, I will do the PS2 demos at some point. That's, that's what the little donation goal is for. Besides, you know, just paying for living. Because my revenue on YouTube is <laughs> cripplingly low. Um, uh, yeah, I will play all the PS2 demos if we reach that goal. I'll, I'll do it. It'll be fun. It will be a treat, I'm sure. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited for that. Because I think the PS2 demos are going to be very, very different vibes to, uh, to PS1. Uh, in a good way, and also maybe in a bad way. I don't know. I don't know how many of them there are. Um, I'm not sure how many of the PS2s there are. It's probably a lot, though, because, I mean, if we were to assume one a month... For like four or five years. Like, you know, that's 60. And I reckon each of them are going to be significantly longer than the PS1 ones. Because the games are bigger. And they, I think there's also like, I think there's not necessarily more stuff, but there's like more like dev sort of stuff. I remember playing, I remember playing a demo a couple years back where it was like Need for Speed Underground, I think. Uh, and it had like, develop a commentary, kind of like a let's play sort of thing. It was weird. It was like the first ever let's play kind of style. It was it was bizarre. Um, so, yeah, like, I, I mean, I guess we've got that to look forward to in the future. Um, I can't get the chance. I don't have enough. Uh, I don't know why I'm trying. Um, but, uh, yeah. But, yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty good. It's a, it's a pretty cool game. I do love it. I'm just gonna get to the end of the level. I don't really care about the uh, the chalice and stuff. It matters not. Um, 
But yeah, it's, uh, this game obviously, absolutely masterpiece. Bloody love it. There's a reason why it's uh, it's regarded in, in highly, uh, because it, it good. Un unsurprising to all. It just good. And then it lets you go to Cemetery Hill. And also, it uh, gives you a nice, high quality version of that logo, <laughs> which I appreciate. But yeah, we're not, we'll, we'll not do that. We've, we've, we've played this before. Um, cooler World, I mean, we just played it. Let me see if it is the same demo. I presume it is. Yep, it sure is. We recognize this music. It's the same demo. Yeah. Uh, Grand Turismo. Oh, is that all of them? Uh, it is, yes. Okay, so, if we head on over to video, it's not referred to as movies anymore. I'm going to assume it's got uh, Crash 3 and Final Fantasy 7. And Metal Gear Solid. Ah, what a thrill. <laughs> Look at this little VHS tape! <laughs> I don't know why it's kind of cute. Metal Gear Solid, baby! It's pretty cool. It is It is the MGS. Okay, what else is there? So we got Sp Spice World, uh, featuring the song from Doctor Who. Spice up your life. Um, Spyro the Dragon. Oh, this is actually interesting. I don't think we've seen a Spyro video before. Look at that! Like, it's not even centered. <laughs> like, it's so bad. It's so bad. I love it. Yeah, this is a... Uh, I don't think we've seen a video of Spider Dragon. I don't think so. We've seen one of two, obviously, but I don't think we've seen one of one. But yeah, I mean, just... What an iconic game. And franchise. But just, uh, it brings me such joy. Playing it is so good. It's just so effortless to play as well. Like, I don't need to think about it, I'm just having fun. The MGS demo made me think as a kid that the base was the final boss and you had to blow it up with a secret. That's actually kind of cool. That's a great mindset to have as an idea, honestly. Like, the fact that a building is a boss is kind of awesome. <laughs> I'd be down with that. Like, Monster House. But, but in the Metal Gear Solid setting. For reasons. Good. Gotta show off the moving Norks. Why wouldn't you? It's, I mean, it's such a great game, isn't it? Like, there's a universe in which the game wasn't well received, and, like, I wonder how different the world would be as a result. Because, I mean, it's technically an inconsequential thing, right? It's a, it's a game about a dragon. But a lot of people's lives have been formed off of stuff like this. And I assume this is da 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 Oh, wait a minute. What's the logo like? Ah, it's more central. Bam, bam. Yeah, of course it is. Interesting. Final Fantasy isn't there. That is interesting. Um, and then is it going to be... Oh! There's no tech? Oh! They got rid of tech! Oh, wow! Oh, that's a shame. Okay, well, now there's only one to go. The final demo one. Here we go. Oh, the goldfish has an animation! It looks like it's blowing you a kiss. <laughs> okay. This is kind of cool. Alright, let's let's go. Alright, so... Is it just going to be games and videos? Or is it... Games and... Yeah, it's just games and videos. Let's start with video first. Let's see what we got. We got Metal Gear Solid again. Makes sense. We got Spice World again. We got Metal... Wait, is it just those two? Wow, they downsized. Oh, that's crazy. Whoa, the final one is kind of lame. It's interesting. So we got Grand Trismo. Got Tekken 3. Got Medieval again. Um, I mean, we just played it, so I'm not going to... Yeah. Oh, it is different, though. It is updated. It is the updated demo with Dan's Crypt and stuff. Ha, huh, interesting. Okay. You got Cooler World. I mean, I'm going to assume it's exactly the same. It's... It sure is. Although, I think that looks better now. I don't know. 
Tumbi, oh, the oh, what an honor, what an absolute honor. They really thought Tumbi was going to be huge, didn't they? And it should have been. It should have been a no-brainer. Like it's such a solid, well-made game. It's difficult. I grant you, it's difficult. But it's such a well-made game. It's such a shame it didn't blow up. They really, really thought that it was going to do well. Oh, man. But yeah, it is the same demo. Cool. There you go. Buster Group. Ah, <laughs> Yeah, this is that, uh... Yeah, this is the game with Rouge the Bat. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> sure is. So weird. Spyro, excellent. I'm assuming this is the demo we just played. Um, yes, it is. 100%. It's the exact same. Yep. Crash Bandicoot 3. Okay, is it going to be the same level? It sure is. Yep. Absolutely is. And then... Oh, Tomb Raider 3. Go on. Is it? Is it the... Uh... It sure is the base. Yep. Actually, let me look at that art again. Let's have a look at the Lara art. I didn't really get a proper look at it. That's kind of cool. Um, got the sunglasses and Gran Turismo. Yeah, back to Gran Turismo. Um, so, yep, yeah, just the same as. All right, there you go. That's all demo one. Demo one had some really, really cool stuff. Like for sure, it was really, really interesting. Um, like it, I, I appreciate the fact that like Playstations came with this because you know I, I don't think I bought a PlayStation that had one of these. Um, I never, I never had one of them. Um, at least any of the demo ones. I've received demo discs from the magazines and stuff, but not any of demo one. Um, and it, yeah, they're really cool. Um, I think like obviously, it gives you a small glimpse of what's there or what's to come. Um, and yeah, like, uh, there's not a huge amount, arguably not as much as, like, via a couple of demos from the magazines, but it's it's a nice, it's a nice starting point. Um, and obviously as, as the years went on, it, it got better in the respect that there's more stuff, um, which is, is always appreciated. Um, and there are also games that are pretty good as well. Um, and I mean, in, in the first one, there's some good games as well, but you know what I mean? Like, obviously, they, as as time goes on and as games evolve, they, they got better and we get, there's more variety and it's, it's great to see um, that evolve. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. That's, uh, that's all the miscellaneous demos. We've, we've, we can't, we, we've gone through them all in, in two hours. That's, uh, that's amazing.